Hello, I'm Clayton Stufflebeam. Today I, I am in Atlanta, Indiana with Colin Shear, who's the PFR location lead here in Atlanta. Today we're going to talk about this Einbach row crop cultivator that Farm Power Equipment out of Illinois and, and Iowa has provided for us this season. Einbach is out of Austria, and it's a very special machine. So before we get to the nuts and bolts of the machine itself, Colin, Tell us about the plots that we had designed for this cultivator. Yeah, so on the back side of, of our facility here, we've got an area designated just for, or, just for organic. Um, we have multiple different studies here. Um, we have anywhere from a, from a um, show plot to a product study to a weed suppression study to a planting date study. And you know, if you think about like a planting date study, you've got three different, th you got three months span there where you're planting three different, three different planting dates. Um, so you've got a lot of different growth stages. And so with this machine, we're able to adjust it for the different growth stages to be able to clean, clean that row out. So the adjustments are really special. The other thing that is special to this machine is the row guard. And the row guard is the camera system. Yep. Um, the camera system allows me to cultivate without looking back. And it's gonna shift side to side and keep that cultivator from tearing out any crop. So when I learned how to cultivate when I was a kid, a 40-20 a John Deere, you weren't allowed to leave third gear idle. Yep. So it made for a very long day of cultivating crop. Today, we've got more acres to cover right, farms are bigger, therefore covering acres quickly is important. The row guard allows us to do that. So with that being said, Colin, how is your experience with utilizing that row guard? So the row guard's really, really cool. Um, it's honestly, you, you know, it's, it's hydraulic driven, so it's got a, Obviously, you see over there, it's got a camera on it. So that camera is looking at the row. So on the monitor, it's got it's got different set. It's got a setup page where you you need to tell it, obviously how how wide your rows are. If you're in 30 inch rows, 20 inch rows, whatever you're in, and then um, you've got different. So you've got a plant height and you've got a plant width. So you've got to be able to tell in inches how tall the plant is and how wide the plant is. So it, so you can give it an a, an, an area to be looking for, um, and. So it's got a really, really kind of a cool function on there where it's got an auto center button. So as, as you pull in there, you center up on your row, you can hit that auto, auto, um, auto center button and it'll find the row and it'll, it'll, it'll center it up and all you gotta do is drop it in and go. So how far does it move? Side uh, to side? Roughly, roughly two feet. Um, you know, they say when you, when you set it up for, for your hydraulic flow, if you can go from one side to the other side in roughly 10 seconds, you, you know, your, your hydraulic pretty pressure close. is pretty close. Yep. Pretty close. So the other adjustments we can make with this cultivator are the width of the row. So I can move these front sweeps in and out and get as close as I want to, to that row yep. without taking the crop out. And then I can adjust these shields, the row shields, up or down, or I can take them off. Um, the reason for uh, adjusting them up or down, so down in small crop, yep. up in bigger crop, yep. so I can throw some dirt closer to the row to cover up any small seedlings that might have emerged yep. or might emerge soon yep, and, and then try to choke them out. The other thing is I can adjust my depth. Every single one of these shanks is adjustable. And then once I get the initial depth adjustment done, I adjust it with this crank row to row. So unlike an old cultivator that might be in a fence row where you had to unbolt a clamp and then move it where you want to, I just crank it to a, a, a number. So six is just a just generic number and I get every row there, so I know I'm all equal. So pretty cool, the, the, the sweeps are very aggressive. So in, in hard ground, we didn't have any problem with it scooting on the surface. Nope. It, it did a good job. So Colin, um, we've got some shows coming up here this next couple months. Yep. Where can a grower come see this? Yep, so um, Technology Days at the end of August, um, we, will, we will have this on display. Um, we're kind of having like a um, organic field show mixed in with our Technology Days. Um, back here in, in our organic area. Um, so yeah, we're hoping to have live live demos, um, weather permitting, and yeah. So it's worked very good for us. Uh, I wanna thank uh, Farm Power Equipment for, for letting us demo it here. I hope you can come see it at Technology Days and I hope to see you there. Thanks thank for you. watching. Thank you.